Hello, thank you for joining me today as I take you through this free leadership series based on my book, The Pharaoh Model of Leadership. I want to share with you something that is profound, that is found in the same book, The Pharaoh Model of Leadership, and it's about change. Pharaoh was leading his nation and everything was going on amicably until boom, he had a dream. What was the dream all about? It was about the seven years of plenty and sued by the seven years of famine. Now, when Pharaoh realized that there were seven years of famine that were coming, he realized that this was a change that was coming. So in order for him to prepare for the change that was coming, he started by changing himself. He changed his leadership, he changed his cabinet, and he appointed a young man from prison. He appointed a foreigner to run the affairs of the nation. Why? Because of the change that was coming. Now, you realize that many people are more comfortable with old problems than they are with new solutions. Pharaoh had to do away with his old way of doing things and embrace the new as a way of preparation for the new that was coming. My mentor Dr. John Maxwell says that everything rises and falls on leadership. So for Pharaoh to make these changes, he understood that there is need for leadership. Nothing changes without leadership. Nothing improves without leadership. Nothing gets done without leadership. And Pharaoh had to put on his leadership head and start making changes in preparation for the change that's coming. Many people do not prepare themselves for change. Sometimes they may see that change is imminent, but what do they do? They start resisting change. They start fighting change. They start going against the change. But as certain as night follows day, that change is eventually going to arrive. And when the change arrives, those that are not prepared will find themselves beautifully equipped to deal with a world that no longer exists. Mm -hmm. Now, I want to give you a framework that you can use anytime you see change coming. It can help you prepare enough for the change so that instead of the change taking care of you, you'll be the one prepared for the change. The framework works like this. It's not always that you are forewarned beforehand that change is coming, but if you are fortunate enough to be foretold about the change that's coming, this is the framework that you may need to use in order to prepare yourself for the change that's coming. You may need to draw a quadrant like this. You may need to draw these four quadrants and ask yourself, this change is coming, how can I adequately prepare myself to navigate this change? So you ask yourself, if I'm to handle this change properly, what skill do I need? What sort of skill do I need in order for me to handle this change? For Pharaoh, if we go back to Pharaoh, you realize that Pharaoh needed dream interpretation skill, he needed a management skill, he needed the ability to distribute grain during the time of famine. So he, he identified the kind of skill that he needed to go through the change that was coming. In my case, I remember when COVID struck, my business is uh, facilitating workshops, training, uh, facilitating team building sessions. And so because of COVID, there were lockdowns all over. That meant I couldn't continue doing my work the way I was doing it. So I had to learn a new skill. I had to learn how to facilitate a workshop using through teams. I had to learn how to train people online using Zoom, placing people in different breakaway rooms. I remember at one point we would go for three days, four days, facilitating team building online, facilitating hybrid team building. People are in their homes and you are in your home and you are joining people together to create a cohesive team. It's a skill that I had to learn because of the situation, because of the change that had come. So ask yourself, what skill do I need to develop? You know your situation better. So you may need to ask yourself, what skill do I need to develop? For some, it may be copywriting skills. For others, it can be writing skills, communication skills, public speaking skills. You know your industry better. Look and identify what skill you may need to develop. Then you go ahead and ask yourself, what sort of help? Do I need? What sort of help do I need? Because sometimes the help that you need may be different from what the change that is coming requires. In Pharaoh's case, he realized that he needed people who would work as his eyes to see what is happening in his land. He needed ears to hear what was happening. For instance, when he needed the rightful candidate to interpret his dream, Pharaoh didn't know about Joseph. He'd never heard of Joseph. 
So what did he need? He needed some people with eyes to see, some people who knew Joseph to come and tell him about Joseph. So he needed different kinds of skills to help him achieve what he wanted. So he needed help from people who understood how to identify talent. He needed people who knew how to recruit. He needed people who knew how to communicate, how to look for talent, how to speak. So you, I, you ask yourself, what sort of help do you need? Sometimes you may realize that the way that you think, the way that you look at your business, you are myopic, that you need someone to help you broaden your horizons. You need a coach. You need someone who can help you to see different perspectives. So what sort of help do you need? Then you go ahead and say, who are the people that can help me? Who are the people that can help me? To achieve this so i was saying that i had to learn these skills of facilitating hybrid meetings online meetings but sometimes you may not be the one who necessarily has to do it for instance in Pharaoh's case he was not the one to to learn how to interpret dreams he was not the one to learn how to implement what was interpreted in the dream he needed people to do it so the people that he needed were people that could identify the rightful candidate with the skills that he needed to interpret the dream. He needed people who would help him with the decision making to zero in on the most relevant action to take. So you ask yourself, who are the people that can help me? Sometimes you realize there are people who know people who know people that can help you. So ask yourself, who are the people that I need in order for me to navigate this change that's coming? We know that most of the times we have to give up to go up. So if you are to embrace the change that's coming, there are a lot of adjustments that you make there are changes that you have to make. So a lot of people, they focus on the changes that they have to make. They look at the sacrifices that they have to make as they are preparing as they are preparing for the change that's coming. And because of that, they become negative towards the change that come, that's coming. And they, they become resentful because of the change that's coming. So what you need to do is to ask yourself, what are the benefits? What are the benefits that are going to accrue as a result of the change that is coming. If I navigate this change properly, what are the benefits to me? How am I going to benefit from this? If we look at Pharaoh, the benefits were averting hunger, avoiding crisis that was coming, and possibly giving them an economic boom because they were the only ones in the nation who were going to be full of grain when all the others are struggling and have nothing to eat. So for him, those were the benefits that you could count on. For you, you may say, okay, if we take this change, we are going, it is going to help us streamline our processes. If we go through this change, it is going to help us boost our sales. If we go through this change, it is going to help us gain market share. You know your business, you know your industry, but look at the changes that are taking place and ask yourself, if we go through these changes, what are the benefits that are going to accrue to us? Identify the benefits that is going to give you motivation to go through the sacrifices that you need to go through, to look for the right people that you need to look for, to look for the skills that you need, and at the same time, to go out there and look for the help that you need. So, I encourage you not to fight change, because if you fight change, change itself is going to take care of you. Anytime you, see, you foresee change coming, it's actually a blessing. It's a blessing because it gives you time to prepare. So instead of fighting the change, instead of resisting the change, take that as a blessing and work to prepare for the change that is coming. Like Pharaoh, he foresaw the change and he changed in preparation for the change that was coming. That's what I thought I should share with you today. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, I would encourage you to please go ahead and do so. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Ozia Sumcherio, and you turn on the notification so that, so that every time when we upload these educational videos, you will be notified.